The current time is 10 p.m. Uh, my mother-in-law called me and told me that <coughs> two of her elders' friends <coughs> went out to Mushroom Pick, and they are lost in the woods. Uh, this is their car right here. <coughs> we are at the <coughs> Campbell Airstrip, far north Bicentennial Park. So I came here. Um, I tried honking my horn, hoping that they can hear me, and hopefully they can come out this way. But they cannot hear me, so it must mean they must went pretty far in. Um, right now, they are not on a trail system. They're actually in the woods, woods, like the off woods, mushroom picking, all that stuff. So, and they must have got lost. So there's no way of getting to them. Um, they do have a regular phone that can only call. Um, not your smartphone, so we can't use like a um, <coughs> find my iPhone app or anything like that. So the only thing we did right now is I call 911, um, inform them about the issue, <coughs> and then I'm gonna have them call. They're calling 911 now, and hopefully the police can pin pinpoint their location. So we'll see how this goes. Um, if we have to go hike in there and find them, <coughs> I brought my flashlight. I brought boots. I'm wearing shorts. And I'm wearing a jacket. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, they're just two elder ladies. Um, not really up to par with technology. So they don't know much about using technology. You know, tracking or anything like that. And they must have went in too far. And just, you know, lost track of where the street was. <clears throat> so right now we're about a mile in. <clears throat> this is the way out back to Tudor, uh, the Tudor Road. So right now we're like a mile in. And I'll let you guys know how everything goes tonight. 10 p.m. for the rector. It is getting late. It is kind of chilly. And they don't have any food or water with them at the moment. Oh my gosh, guys. So right here is the parking lot. <coughs> so right now we're at the little hell trail. 4.5 kilometer to loop. <coughs> I don't know where this is, but it is pitch black out there, guys. Um, I'm pretty sure the elders there are really stress and afraid right now i told them to stop hiking because if they keep hiking they might be going the other way and they might be going further out so i told them to just stay calm stay put and we'll figure out a plan for them soon thankfully they don't have any kids with them at the moment so that's good hopefully we can get some service to help soon current time is 10 20 we have three apd unit that went ahead on the road um, they say that they have the missing people on the phone and they may be down further the road. They told me to wait here for them. So I'm just going to stay here and stand my ground. Sorry, the phone's out of focus. Too dark. 11 p.m. Two cops went in. So we'll see what happened. I think they're trying to, I think they're trying to create a uh, perimeter. Current time is 11.22. <clears throat> Two of the officers, they went in about 30 minutes early already, about 40 minutes. Um, I think they're, <clears throat> there's like four cops car up the road. And then one came back where the original trailhead was. And I think they're trying to create a perimeter to uh, surround the two elders. Um, but I want to take this time to just talk up to my fellow Hmong elders that like to go do mushroom picking, veggie picking. Um, you guys need to be very careful, have your phone charged at all times, and most importantly, you guys have to let people know where you're going. The thing about the Hmong elders is that um, they're old school, um, they think that they can just use their ways of going to the woods and they'll find themselves out. And sometimes that is the case, but sometimes there's cases where you do get lost. <laughs> and a lot of these um, elders here... Um, they don't have techno. They don't use high tech technology. They don't use. They don't use find my iPhone. They don't bring GPS. Um, they don't bring any of that stuff. And then there's the other reason is that you know this is their when they go mushroom picking. This is their secret spots, and they don't like to tell anybody, not even their kids or family members. And you have to let people know where you're going. And thankfully, the two elders that got lost, um, they had a cell phone that was able to call us. And they were they were within the city limits. We're still in Anchorage right now, so we're not like out of Anchorage or anywhere in the mountains. And um, this is just one of these little forest, big uh, for, 
uh, Bicentennial Park here. And um, we'll, we're gonna find them eventually. It's just a matter of time. If we don't find them in the next two, three hours, maybe by tomorrow morning, we'll find them. So it's gonna be a while, but we'll definitely find them. Um, but this is definitely a lesson for everyone to know um, and learn. Just uh, be careful, learn how to use technology, and this could be prevented. Okay, prevent. we got the ATVs out here. They're kind of far out, I guess. They found them, but they're far out. Current time is midnight right now. Two ATVs are out right now. They're gonna go out and get them. They did locate them, but they're pretty far out in the woods, so they're gonna send two ATV and hopefully uh, get them out here faster. Guys, it's Alaska. <coughs> Always thankful for our uh, service folks here. Did a great job <coughs> locating them <coughs> using a uh, cell pen cell pinpoint and Google Map. <coughs> I'm not sure how far in they are. <coughs> they might be like five, six miles in. So these uh, ATVs are gonna go out, but looks like they're troubleshooting this one, having no start issue. So police support unit coming here. So all good guys, all good. Uh, no crazy injuries, everybody's safe and sound. All right, so only one of the ATV made it out. One of the other ATVs had a dead battery. There they are, they made it, yep, he's back. So they got one down and the other one to go. Damn, they brought the mushroom too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> two, two gallons of mushroom. It's worth it. Has to be